All right, so welcome. Today, I'm going to be checking out a movie that I've seen clips about, I've seen little articles about and stuff, but I've never actually seen the thing myself. It comes from a recommendation by MKF30. And yeah, I'm going to be watching Mortal Kombat 1995. I've never seen it. And while looking it up and just doing like small research on it, I always try to go into movies as spoiler free as possible. Even if I'm watching like a trailer, I'll like skim through the trailer. I won't even really watch the full thing. The only thing I really picked up was that this is directed by Paul Anderson, who is the man who also, I, I don't know if he directed, but I know he wrote Aliens vs. Predators. I'm pretty sure he directed it as well, but I know he wrote it. Yeah, I don't know what to expect. I'm kind of thinking this is going to be like corny in a good way. I feel like it's more adaptable live action than the 90s uh, Mario Brothers movie where that was like corny in a bad way. I feel like this is actually going to be good. I'm not expecting to be like, oh, masterpiece, but I definitely expect it to be good um, to an extent. Yeah, let's get into it. I don't actually know much about the Mortal Kombat games and the lore. I watched the 2019 one, so I don't know if that actually adapts the lore of the games well, but I believe that one was there was people in different uni like different worlds and dimensions who were all marked and they were to fight in a Mortal Kombat. And I assume it's that to a degree. Like I, s what I'm going to take from it is that there are people from other dimensions that are selected somehow. Maybe it's just like the greatest warriors of their earth or their dimension and they go and fight in the Mortal Kombat. I'm assuming it's a tournament. I, I genuinely have no idea. I don't know. I, I have no idea if this is going to be like a boxing movie where it's going to be like round one, boom. Or I also don't know if it's going to be like, I don't even know what the other option would be unless they're taken hostage and they're not wanting to fight and they have to like get their way out of, I don't even know, color grading already. Everything's just green. Is this saw actually is this saw i didn't sign up for saw here Jax, I know that guy. He's got metal arms. Who else do I actually know? I can imagine people. Like, I know there's a four-armed dude. He's got four arms. There's the classic Scorpion Sub-Zero. I was going to say there's a dude with a laser eye, or I was going to say actually kind of closer to Avatar The Last Airbender, where he's got like a thing in the middle of his head that shoots out explosions, but I assume that's him. That's actually a really good effect that it looks like it's embedded in his face, right? Like it's like it's more he's half metal and his skin's covering it up rather than just something over top. I like that. I'm guessing this is Sonya Blade. She kind of looks like if Barbie had a like special ops military edition. Is this Matt Murdock? The stance. Is that the dad from Teen Wolf? Is that Styles' dad from? I don't know the actor's name. There was no one to me that I recognized right away, but I do recognize him. This is where you fall down. Yep, that is definitely Sheriff Stalinsky. Uh, and the press says I don't know how to do this stuff. I like that moment where we kind of got a whole 360 view of the whole warehouse. Is that Steven Spielberg? No, I think it's just supposed to look like him. How did this movie rate? How did critics think of it? What did the audience think of it? Because so far I'm very much enjoying it. And I like these set pieces and everything are really nice and really like the camera work. Is this supposed to be like, am I supposed to be like them right now? I don't know who this is. Again, I haven't, I don't know much about the lore of Mortal Kombat. So you're going to win the tournament. I like his voice though. I know, but there's no one else. There's no one else. He sounds like William Defoe there. It's like the goblin, the green goblin to be specific. Hey, pal, Chip comes in. Could you put these on board? You want me to carry your luggage? Yeah. I pay money, you carry the bags. Or is that too complicated? No. Little fucking racist. Throw him in the water. Yeah, oh, and he takes the money. Hell yeah, I, I'm on your side. Let's go. Yeah, fucking go get it yourself, you asshole. Is that supposed to be racist or Hollywood? Either way, not cool. What was his name? Luke Cage? Johnny Cage? Luke Cage. That's the bulletproof dude, right? Marvel. I see, baby. I like that. Oh, you could just see his eye and then it lit, sparked up and you could see his face and then it was good. I like that. I like that. Scorpion and Sub-Zero. I know who that is. Deadliest of enemies. I was about to say, aren't they enemies? Is that how it works? 
What the fuck? I thought it was just like a chain with, I, could, I don't know what it's called, a blade at the end. Oh. You have embarked on a sacred mission. I liked his voice, now it's just getting kind of annoying. Shang Tsung and his warriors to win 10 straight victories in Mortal Kombat. They have won nine. Oh, convenient. This will be the 10th tournament. But there's a second movie. So, does that mean that they win and then the second movie is like Outworld invading Earth? Or is it they they win and no. I don't even know actually. Interesting. We'll see. The fate of billions will depend upon you. <laughs> What an asshole. Why do, you, why do you get excitement out of that? I haven't really found this. I thought it was going to be kind of corny. Not that corny. The fact that they have like, they're actually on water on a boat right now in front of an actual island. That makes it feel like authentic. Yes, the idea of what's going on is a bit corny, but the um, CGI is, you know, dated not well. But the fact that they're actually pulling up into water right now on a boat and like this is an actual real set that makes that adds on authenticity and it makes it just feel it doesn't feel corny to me so far but we could get to the actual tournament area and they just get onto a set and it just turns into like i don't know that felt kind of corny actually i take it back that felt corny so he brought like seven bags and them two didn't even bring one what if all the legends were true what legends I can't tell if this guy's actually a poser or a real good fighter because, you know, he's kind of like an idiot and too Hollywood. But the fact that he's actually going these lengths tells me that he can actually fight. And I recognize his name, Johnny Cage, so he must be a character in the game. I got nothing to say. That looked like shit, to be honest. That looked horrible. This is a 95. They could have used an animatronic, at least. No, for a taste of things to come. Fight. Oh, they really are. And frozen. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell, he just shattered. Flawless victory. Hey, he said the thing. This looks like a Dark Souls level. Forearm forearms. Is that a real turkey leg or thing or whatever? Cause that was a huge leg. Gen See, and that's an animatronic. That looks way better than the reptile thing. It's gonna be the reptile. <laughs> See, that looks good how they did that. They distorted. See, that looked good. Katana went this way. No, she didn't because the webs are there. If you're breaking the webs, I mean, she hasn't gone there before. If these are all real candles, it would have taken forever for them to light it. Also, I was about to say, yeah, this is the Mortal Kombat music. Now, either Johnny Cage is going to fight well or he's going to get his ass kicked. Let's see. Why give the weapon back? Why does this feel like this is more the 80s than the 90s? Like, I could be wrong, but it's just the hair that's giving me like late 80s vibes. But I guess this is mid 90s. So what are the rules? Is it a fight to the death? I feel like that's a move in the games. There's only like one move I can think of from the games and it's where they like and then back on the ground. I thought he was gonna suck it out. No, he just pulls it out. What can you really be practicing if it's just in the air? So why does she hate him? He like murder her family or something? Oh yeah, he killed her partner. We got a badass female over here. That's what we love. Yeah. Okay, you know, as you can see, you didn't have to fall after the kick. It didn't seem like put that much energy into it, but then she doubled back with two more and I don't think that would do anything. No, it just breaks his neck. That's it. I'm sorry. That's it. I feel like that was hyped up way more than, than what we got. Does he come back? This is a gorgeous place. Get over here. He said the thing. Does it replenish? Well, that seems unfair. Now they're in the little monster's underworld. Why does Johnny Cage and Scorpion get a bigger fight than Kano and Sonya, even though they had like lore between them that was established? Do a backflip. Oh, now do a backflip. Now do a backflip. Yeah. Oh, okay. The backflip feels unnecessary now since you're just going up there. Gonna breathe fire now. Is it right? That's a fatality. I remember that from the games. He sounded like one of the Nazi zombies from Call of Duty. Why are these fights just? I feel like they should be spaced out. 
It's the Mortal Kombat logo. To win your next match, use the element which brings life. My penis? Is he just gonna splash Sub Zero with water and then Sub Zero's gonna freeze to death? You fucking kidding me? I'm sorry, that was kind of stupid, but damn. Finish him. Damn. Flawless victory. That was not flawless. He hit him a few times. If you are afraid to trust. Oh, he's getting real creepy with her. Challenging Goro, eh? You weren't supposed to fight him now. As you wish. As absurd as your request is, I shall grant it. Johnny Cage, damn, you're an idiot. I agreed to those terms. Let's dance. Dick punch. Damn. I feel like this is another Mortal Kombat song, but I don't know. That's what I'm not sure of. This is where you fall down. What a callback. Why Why does it feel too easy? Reptile. Is that his name? I can't remember. Oh, it looks so bad. Who the fuck is this? This is a moment that I think it's like a game character that I, I don't actually know. I'm just trying to figure out who this is. So Sub-Zero was blue. Scorpion was ye yellow. The reptile turned into this. Is this just the, a human form of the reptile or is this like another character? That tells me it's still the reptile. I'm still waiting for that single kick move that I know. The in the air. It's going to happen soon. I can feel it. Or they just missed the opportunity. I'm assuming, I'm just going to assume they put it in the first movie. Yeah, this thing. Yeah. Herb stomped. Well done. The katana? Yeah. There's still 25 minutes left. What the fuck is going on? I'm enjoying this, but it's also like, I feel like dragging on all the fight scenes are like 20 seconds and done. That feels so unnecessary. Why change her outfit and then, like, chain her up? <laughs> the Mortal Kombat logo. Again. That was a very Doctor Who moment. Amelia Pond, grab your coat. B. Amelia Pond, get your coat. Damn, that seems like cheating. Back flip. Oh, nope. Split jump. He's disappeared. It's gonna be his brother. No, oh, I thought he was gonna turn around. Oh, it is. Shang Tsung killed my brother. Now roundhouse kick him in the face into the spikes. Bang, bang. Ooh. They are mine. Forever. Forever. Oh, I thought it was gonna be much slower than that. Forever. The sand lot, but nope. All those souls and you still don't have one of your own. Oh. Damn. Now quadruple backflip roundhouse kick him in the face. Oh no, there's also that move. I remember that move from the game. They did good. Ooh. Flawless victory. No, you got hit. He just turned into Snoke from Star Wars. Why did it just suddenly turn to house music? You humans are so unpredictable. It's a very doctor line. Bow to me. I was about to say, what the hell's going on? I don't think so. That's how it ends. So that was Mortal Kombat 1995, recommended to me from MKF30. Thank you for the recommendation. I very much like that. The movie felt quite convoluted in a way, right? It just felt like the overarching plot of the story kept changing in a sense, and everyone's character motivations kind of were unclear. It didn't really matter though. It was it was a very fun movie. I had a good time with that. I felt like the first 30 minutes kind of was slugging along just getting to the island and whatever but then once the fighting actually started happening that was going by too quick like the fights would happen like two minutes done two minutes done two minutes done people would die come back or not come back but people would die instantly and it, it just it just felt it just went at a breakneck speed in the middle and then it slowed back down near the end i don't know it was it was it was weird but i very much enjoyed it 
I'm excited to watch the next one because I know there's a second one that came out in 97 called um, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, I believe. So yeah, I'll be checking that out. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed what you saw and you want to see more, please like and subscribe, turn your notifications on. And if you have any recommendations or any suggestions, just leave it in the comments below and I'll get to it eventually. All right. Well, I've been a guy named Chase and I hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day. Hey.